Greetings. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Petaka Technologies. In this video, we will understand the difference between calendar and calendar auto functions with examples of how to use it in Power BI. These functions are helpful to create a calendar table. The calendar function creates a calendar table with a specified start and end date. It requires manual input of start and end dates. It does not automatically update when new data is added or old data is removed. Let me explain you with an example. Suppose you have a table sales with columns sales date and sales amount. Let's assume that you want to create a calendar table for that go to table tools and select new table let's make it little bigger we name this table as calendar date and write the DAX to create calendar table select calendar function to create a calendar table on your data model. The syntax for the calendar function is start date comma end date. For example, enter start date within double quotes as 2024 for first month and from first date comma and enter end date with double quotes as 2024-09 and 30. Here we are creating a calendar table up to September month. Close the parenthesis and commit. Now we can see the date column in calendar date table. We require only date. So select date column and change the data type to date. We can see that date start from 1st January 2024 to let's expand it so that you can see the date particularly September month date you can see it up to September 30, 2024. Next let's see how calendar auto function works. Go to table tools and choose new table to create a new calculator table. We name this table as calendar auto date and write the DAX to create a calendar table. Use calendar auto function close the parenthesis and commit. The calendar auto function creates a calendar table that automatically adjusts to the date range of your data and no need to specify start date and end dates. It updates automatically when new data is added. Select date column, change data type to date. And if you see, the date column starts from 1st January 2024 to 31st December. It creates date for entire year. We can also use other DAX functions in calendar function. Let me explain you with an example. Go to table tools and select new table and Name this table as calendar. Let's make it small, everything. Calendar DAX. And write the DAX to create calendar table. Select calendar function. And for start date, we use min DAX function to find the minimum date from sales date column in sales table close the parenthesis comma 
and for end date we use max tax function to find the maximum date from sales date column in sales table close the parenthesis close the parenthesis of calendar tax function and commit select date column change the data type to date if you notice in this date column the date starts from 3rd january 2024 instead of 1st january 2024 because it returns the exact minimum date from the data model and also it create date up to the exact maximum date which is 4th september 2024 Next, let's see how to create a fiscal calendar using calendar auto function. Select calendar auto date table and enter three as argument to create a fiscal calendar starts from April. Commit now. date column start from 1st april 2023 to 31st march 2025 it creates date for complete fiscal years now let's see what will happen if we enter new data into this data model select sales table select this three more options go to edit query in power query editor choose source let's add one more data enter 15 january 2025 and sales amount as 6 lakhs and click okay close and apply now go to calendar date if you see calendar date table it remains same if you go to the last date still it's showing 30 September 2024 because we hard coded the start date and end date now next go to calendar auto date table and remove this three commit previously it created date up to Thirty first December two thousand twenty four, but now it created date up to thirty first December two thousand twenty five based on our data model. Automatically, it updated. If you go to calendar DAX table, previously it created date up to fourth September two thousand twenty four, but now it created data. up to 15th january 2025 based on the minimum date and maximum date on our data model automatically it updated the key differences between calendar and calendar auto or calendar requires manual input of dates while calendar auto automatically adjust to your data next calendar does not update automatically while calendar auto does we use calendar function we need to fix date range or specific dates we use calendar auto function when we want a dynamic calendar table that updates with your data and it will automatically update when new data is added or removed ensuring that the calendar table always matches the date range of your data i hope you understand the difference between 
calendar and calendar auto functions and how to use it in Power BI depends on various scenario. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't be afraid to try new things and make mistakes. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial on differences between calendar and calendar auto DAX functions in Power BI. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you want to learn more about Power BI and DAX, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more tutorials, tips and tricks. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment below with any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next video.